Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as you've seen the title, we are going to be discussing how to find deer in California. Like the resources, Onyx, Google Earth, we're gonna be going through all that stuff. So the backstory for this is, um, I wanna help the new hunters out, like I wanna become like a little hunting mentor, just like as far as helping those people who, you know, just moved to California, give them the resources and where to go and how to find, you know, a new hunting spot. And secondly, it's for those lazy people out there that are always asking for handouts, right? So I'm part of a couple of Facebook groups, just like some of us are. And I'm always seeing people asking for like, hey, like where's a good hunting spot? Hey, is it worth my time going here, right? So that that's kind of frustrating from someone like myself who two degrees a new hunter. And when I started, like I, I did all the research on my own. Like I read a shit ton of stuff about deer. I constantly watched videos on YouTube just so I could figure out like where to look and where to go. I found the websites, I, I did it all on my own. You know, and I'm not saying everyone has to do that. Like if you could find like a hunting mentor that could show you the ropes, like go by that route. But you know, like get outside, like half a hunting is, you know, an adventure, right? To get outdoors, to like be in nature, right? That's half a hunting. The other half is, you know, fill in the freezer, get in the meat, the experience, all that stuff, right? So. This video is for you guys, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the website, the California website, which is wildlife.ca.gov, which you'll see. We're gonna go through Onyx, and we're gonna go to Google Earth as well to get the 3D image. At the making of this video, the 3D image on Onyx isn't that great yet, so I'm gonna keep using Google Earth for now. Um, we're gonna be looking at public land, so I don't want anyone coming at me saying the way you're giving my secret hunting spot away. I'm gonna be looking at an area I've never looked at before, so I have no idea what's there. I've never hunted there. We're just gonna find an area together and go after it. All right, uh, it's gonna be a lot of computer time. You're gonna hear my voice. We're gonna walk through the steps, so I hope this helps, and let's get after it. Okay, so here we are. All right, so we are at wildlife.ca.gov right here at the top and what you're gonna do you're gonna click on hunting and then you're gonna have the drop down of all these different animals all right so obviously pick the animal you're going for we're focused on deer today I really hope the Wi-Fi sticks with me it's been kind of janky lately cool all right so here's our deer page it's still loading a little bit but we're just gonna push through boom beautiful picture of a mule deer all right so here you'll find everything I've talked about this in another video so we're not gonna get too deep into it but Season zones, hunts, uh, regulations, license tags, harvest stats, right? So if you're going to a new area, what I would do is one, figure out what zone you're gonna be hunting, which you'll find here. You click this dude, it shows you the statewide zone. We're not gonna do that. And I've pre-picked already, uh, we're gonna look at D8, just middle. Like I said in the beginning, I'm doing all public land. I've never hunted here before, so don't think I'm giving away a secret spot, right? So when you click here on the specific thing, it's gonna bring up this PDF file, right? For those of you that don't know about this, it literally tells you damn near everything about the area. It tells you where the deer are, deer are tells you how they move, it tells you where the best harvest has been, it tells you all that stuff, right? So general information, gives you the regs, all right? Deer harvest reporting, it tells you how to do it, when to report, all right? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. It tells you more harvest information, land opportunities. This, it's under, utilized in my opinion a lot of people don't talk about this stuff maybe they do i don't know but it literally it tells you the conditions the weather tips it tells you where you could go camping like there's a lot of information here i feel like a lot of people don't know about all right so we're gonna get to the good stuff right boom hunting tips and where to look where to look for deer okay it tells you like the, the general idea of how to hunt them all right so start looking in areas right here this top line second paragraph Start hunting in areas which are burned in the last 10 to 5 years or where oak, acorns, and mature are mature and abundant. Boom. All right. So that's going to get your um, it's gonna get your brain moving a little bit, right? It's going to get a turning. Those gears turning in there, right? You keep reading, you keep reading, you keep reading. And then, oh my God, look at this. It tells you the different deer herds in here. Crazy. All right. So human deer herd. The human deer herd occupies summer and fall ranges, blah, 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 blah. Look at this. It literally tells you where the deer are concentrated in this general area, all right? How often this is updated, I'm really not too sure. It could be yearly, but I mean, this is a good starting point, all right? It gives you all the different deer herds in here, all right? And then you continue on. It tells you just some tag information and stuff. And then, of course, at the bottom, it says good luck because we all know hunting ain't easy. All right, so we're going to focus on this first one, the Hume deer herd. And I preloaded this stuff for us um, just because my Wi-Fi is a little janky, so I don't want to 
be loading stuff forever. All right, now we're gonna go to Onyx. If you haven't seen Onyx, this is Onyx, right? We're not gonna do a deep, deep dive into Onyx, but as you can see, we're in California and these little fire things are active fires that are happening, so make sure you have that. So I specifically picked D8 for a specific reason, specifically picked for a specific reason, because there's something I want you guys to notice, right? So if you zoom in a little bit, all right, it's gonna tell you what zone, all right? So here's D8 and you got the X's, all right? This blue line right here is a game refuge, and it's super important to have that area or that um, that layer highlighted over here because game refuges have different rules and regulations. Um, if you can or can't hunt them, I don't know specifically. I know there's one kind of by me down here in San Diego where you cannot hunt, but it's all national forest. But because it's a game refuge, you can't hunt it, so just keep that in mind. All right, so here are the active fires that are going on in D8. So as, as you can see, if you click on the area, this thing will pop up on your Onyx, and it does this on your phone as well. I really don't use the computer too much for it, but you know, it tells you where it's at, so I clicked on a fire accidentally, but this is the fire that's going on, this is that, all right? But if you just click on the general area, it'll just give you the CA hunt zone, all right? It tells me the elevation where I clicked, the line along, all that stuff. And then if you come over here, all right, like I was saying, it tells you there's a game refuge here, but then it also tells you the hunt zone. All right, everyone following? Cool. All right, so we're going to look for this Hume, um, Hume Valley or Hume whatever. So I believe you could type this in. So I think it's Hume Lake. Should come up. It's not coming up. Or maybe it's just loading. Hume Lake. Boom. Fresno County? We're in Fresno? All right, so let's see if it takes. Okay, so boom. There's the lake. Right? So if we go by what that thing just said, it said, you know, there are deer in this general area. Remember, we're just guessing. We're figuring out stuff, right? So you see all these different colors, you know, what's what, magic click of a button will tell you what it is, right? So the owner is the Saquon National Forest, it's government land, so national forest, that means I can hunt it, right? So what's this purple stuff? Click on the purple stuff, right? Kings Canyon National Park. So national parks fall, fall under different rules, right? But if you look at it, it's still D8 hunting zone. So you're gonna have to do a little more deep diving and Google some stuff to see if you can hunt there, right? This is this is like the pre-scouting phase where you're trying to find out stuff. This is is what you're supposed to be doing, right? And as you see, as I'm clicking through, it tells you what the forest is and what's going on. And then if you look down here, there's like a little bit of yellow. Let's see if we can zoom in a little more. A little bit of yellow down here, that should be BLM. All right, so BLM is your land, as in there, I'm not gonna say there are no rules, but it's not, it's not a national forest. It's not a um, national park. It's, you know, it's public land, Bureau, Bureau of Land Management, all right? But it's also in the D8 zone, all right? So that should be good to go. All right, but we're gonna be focused on this Hume Lake wherever it went. It's Hume Lake area, I believe it's right here. Okay, boom. All right, so when I'm looking at this, you know, you have your different layers and stuff, right? So I could, you could obviously tell, well, we're in Topo right now. So you can see the terrain marks, the, um, the topographic, I'm at a loss for words, but you can see the elevation changes right here, right? So I'm looking around and if you're hunting California, one of the main things you want to look for is water. At least in Southern California, is water. What's our elevation right now? Our elevation is pretty high, I believe. Uh, elevation is okay. So we're on top of Mount. Our elevation is 5,000 feet, so we're not really in a desert. So it's pretty high up there. I'm assuming this is a lot of uh, evergreens and stuff like that, and alpine, alpine kind of country. So not too worried about the water since they probably have a lot of it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip through, I'm gonna flip through these and see what it'll show me. So the hybrid gives me the topo and the satellite. And like I said, um, they have their new 3D beta over here, but you know, beta means beta phase, like they're just learning. All right, so you have all these little markings. So this is a camping area. And I know from experience that, you know, these California deer, most deer, like if you find the water, they'll be in that general area. So this isn't giving me too much information, but like I was saying, I want to go to Google Earth as well, but I'm just getting a feel for what's around here. So I, I don't want to stick too close to a camping site because deer may or may not like um, be shy of humans in certain areas. If they see them a lot, it'll be like whatever. But you know, we all know once hunting season comes around, they're definitely uh, more alert for whatever reason. It's like they know as well. All right, so just looking at this, it looks like there's like a good little bowl right here, which would give me a good opportunity to glass. There's a road. So this is a main road and this is a truck road, but that shouldn't scare too many. 
So this little area right here where my arrow is, this would be a good area to glass because then I could look into this little bowl it looks like. It looks like there's a little drainage from the lake that goes into it or out of it, most likely into it. And boom, even right here, look at this huge flat spot. So it's flat down here, you have this huge cliff right here, which is what these lines are. can't believe I don't remember these lines, what they're called. So I'm going to check this out on Google Earth just to see what it looks like. All right, so here's Google Earth. There's a lot going on. Uh, boom, Hume Lake. Like I said, I preloaded this so my computer won't crap the bed and Wi-Fi won't take forever loading. All right, so there's Hume Lake, and there is a way. Oh, I don't know if I want to try it. Oh, what was that? What did I just do? I've been trying to do that. Try to, oh, how to do that. Oh, man, sweet. Okay, I've been trying to figure out how to do that. All right, so here's here's Google Earth, right? For those of you who don't know Google Earth, you know, it's legit 3D maps. So what we could do this a couple ways. We could drop a point on our Onyx so we can see what it looks like glassing from here. So I'm going to mark a waypoint right here. Actually, you know what? Boom, even better. So I'm going to copy this Latin long right here, and I'm going to go to Google Earth, and I should, I should be able to uh, copy and paste this, but don't forget, you got to put your north and your west in here. Give it this little minus sign. Put a west, and it should take us right there. Let's see. Okay, boom. So that so this little arrow thing is the spot we picked out on Onyx, right? So as you see it's spinning, you're getting a view of what it looks like, which is amazing. All right, so this is what this looks like on Google Earth. It looks it looks pretty open on this bottom side, which is cool. Let's see if I can do this again. Oh my god, I figured it out. All right, so this is the benefit of Google Earth. You can see the huge drops and you can see what you'd be looking at. So if I post myself right here on this arrow, right here where the little circle is, bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, so this is what I'd be looking at. And, you know, it looks pretty good. I mean, there could be deer there. There's water to the right. Um, you could zoom in, obviously, and you could get, like, a better idea of what exactly you'd be looking at. And so this, to a degree, would be your view, which looks pretty good. I mean, there's a good chance there are deer in here. Like I said, there's water not too a good distance away from the road. Boom, there's a lake over there. So, I mean, this, this is... You know, this is working right now. This is a good little area, it looks like. Like I said, never been here. This is a complete guess right now. You got a road back here, and it looks like it goes back even further. Let's see if we get out of here. Whoop, too far. All right, so then, you know, 3D, 2D, you go back and forth and stuff. Zoom in, zoom out. All right, but, you know, this is just the basis of how to find a spot. And then the most important part is you got to get your butt out there, drive, do a little walk-in or hike-in, and then actually go see if it's worth it, see if you can find some sign. So as we go more inland, you know, there's more stuff in here. There's this beautiful river, it looks like, down here. Man, that's a nice country. I might take a trip up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is great. Yeah. So, like I, think, like I said, you got to get out there, and you got to figure it out. So that's pretty much the basis of how you're going to find a spot. Um, pretty simple. you got the website now. You get the California Wildlife um, Game site, or the wildlife site, tells you where to find deer. And, I mean, it's for all of them, you know, like... They're all in here, all the X zones. It tells you everything. It tells you what habitat the deer live in. It gives you the general idea of like the roads and stuff and where they live in. Like in the Hume Valley, right? It says south of Kings River and Sequan National Forest between blah, blah, blah. Um, the monarch wilderness. Um, uh, wilderness dominated by brush. Occasionally deer are killed at the higher elevations. Like it tells you it, pretty much where to find the deer. All, it, it's taking all the work out of your hands. The only part you have to do is physically go there. You know, like find a little spot if you want to go camping on Onyx and stuff, right? So you could camp, you could camp right here in the morning or whatever, and you could walk your happy butt with some friends up here and go to this glassing point and start looking in the morning. Like it's actually a cool little spot. You know, during the middle of the day, if you get really bored, you go fishing. <laughs> the perfect little spot. So what I would do for California hunting, going in blind, go to the website, um, find. Find out what spot, you know, you want to hunt, obviously, or what's around you first time. Get your tags, obviously, common sense. Uh, get Onyx or whatever else. They they have maps on here, too. It's just not, oh, that's not the map. It's just not loading. But, you know, they, they have maps you could download on here, too, which actually is right here. Um, so you could download the map, map, download, and for that specific area. But, you know, nowadays everyone's just using Onyx or uh, Go Hunt or Base base game and fish, I forget the baseline of map, I forget the name of that one. And then Google Earth is free, so get that.
And that's that. that. That, in essence, is how you could find deer. Pretty much anywhere, but in California, like, that's how it works. And that's, that's the only spot I've hunted. I haven't hunted out of state yet. Got some big out-of-state hunts coming up, though, in the near future, which I'm super excited about. All right, so um, what did we learn today? We learned about the, the wildlife page, the California wildlife page. Um, we learned how to use Onyx very briefly, and when you, we learned how to use Onyx and Google Earth together. And, you know, just a general area, like... Kind of hit on, kind of hit it pretty quick with the with that area wherever that's at. Um, I think it's at Fresno, but yeah. So that's how you find deer. I hope I hope this helps. Don't be lazy. Get outside, explore, and have an adventure and enjoy the outdoors. All right, like that's that's why we hunt, right? To get outside, to get away. That's all, folks. Um, I hope this was educational. I hope you learned something. Uh, maybe you didn't know about the uh, wildlife page, where it pretty much gives away all the details on where to hunt. It's public knowledge and it's public land. So go out there and have some fun. But until next time, you guys know the drill. Drop a like, drop a comment, click subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.